That's what makes a damn car move, man. Shoot. Dang old. I don't necessarily recommend you doing this in your home, but you can if you want. <laughs> this is what I got. So, don't forget about the 17 millimeter plug right here. This is the fill plug. Break it loose, it'll help empty the trans a little bit better. This plug right here is just a 3 8 uh, ratchet head. We gotta have a talk, man. Um, it looks like coke. That does not look like transmission fluid. Right here, there's a shift selector that sits right here. And what you want to do is you want to get it into neutral before you remove it. That, and this is your retaining bolt for the shift selector. I think that's a uh, God, I think that's a, a 9 Allen head. There's four bolts that hold this on. And the way that you'll know that it's in neutral is if it moves up and down, you can move it up and down. So let me show you on my transmission. This is actually the selector. If you can do that right there. Of course, mine's loose in here right now, but if you can move this guy up and down on the selector, you know you're in neutral. And then just remove the four mounting bolts and this guy on the side, and it'll come right out the top. You want to take this 10, you want to pull that sensor right here out this 14 millimeter out right here these three guys right here one two three all three of those need to come out um, these are the detent spring bolts for your uh, shift forks do not lose the spring and the ball make sure you get both of them out and do not lose them because they are very important and they are very easy to lose so then you want to take all of these twelves that go all the way around the case. I'm going to take all of those out. All the way around with the bracket. That guy, that guy right there. That one, that one, that one. And then the 14 millimeter um, retaining plug for the counter shaft. You want to take that out. Um, and then there's a snap ring. After you get everything else loose, there's a snap ring that holds the back side of this case basically to the counter shaft so you'll have to get that spring loose so let's go ahead and get started There we go. So now that I've got this guy out, this is one of the detent spring bolts. I don't know if you can see in there. You can't. You can kind of. You see that reflection in there? So that's a ball. What we're going to do is we're going to use a little magnet. 
and yank that pig out of there. See that spring inside there? So that, and then I actually don't have my magnet, so we're going to use this here. Trusty screwdriver. You see that ball right there? Oh, I did exactly what I told you not to do. But, that's it right there. Ba bam Springs and bowls to shift the gears. There we go. This is a 27. So I guess it's a 27 to get this out. that 14 I was talking about on the back side. Right there. Take that guy out. So now we are ready to take all of these 12s out and then take our retaining plug out. That snap ring right there. This guy. You gotta peel that guy apart and then get it bumped up over the counter shaft. Cool. So I don't know if you heard that or not. But that little thud was the sound of the shaft falling down. Yeah. You know how I talked about Harbor Freight in the first video? Harp Freight, a little under 200 bucks, badass, take off freaking wheel. This guy, I got this my first mechanic job, I got this set, Pittsburgh set, in 2011, 2012, I think. Um, clearly it's uh, seen better days and I've lost the others, but it's still here, so that's got to count for something. Yep. It can be kind of a bitch. I think that uh, this thing has been resealed or rebuilt once already. I don't know, but somebody laid the damn Honda Bond to it. Boom! She is off. So, there it is. A whole lot of material down in there on that magnet. This fluid is awful. This transmission smells like hot booty cheeks. That's what makes your damn car move, man. Shoot. Dang old. I tell you what now. I think that's alright. I wonder how that other bearing is.
is. Okay, so now we have to pull the reverse gear off, which is this guy right here. Um, Got to pull these two uh, tins out. And then this whole assembly should come right out. This transmission smells like hot booty cheeks. Booty cheeks and like something, some kind of spread. I don't know yet. The booty cheek is the bread. It's got some kind of spread on it. No clue. It's like jalapeno spread, like on a booty cheek bagel. I don't know. Sio senor, so we get this out. It's dirty. You you got to clean it. You gotta clean it, man. So some glass cleaner should fix that right up. I don't know why I'm wiping my hands off, cause you know. I'm just gonna get dirty again here in a second. Alright, there's a reverse gear. I don't have enough towel for all of this. I'm gonna put on the glovesies, because I'm a pansies. Move my L cam gear there. set that right there. So, one, two, three, go. And just a second. These two washers right here, they go in a specific order, in a specific spot, and if you don't put them back where they go, um, you will have noise and it will suck because then you have to pull it all back out. Ruin the nice, pretty, fresh Honda Bond and paint you might have put on the trans um, for this shit. Ask me how I know. Dealership life was fun. We were going to put bearings in this transmission one way or another. There was no way I was reassembling this. And not putting axle seals and bearings in and stuff like that, but I don't know. I think that's where his noise was coming from. Let's see how the how the diff sounds. One, two, three, go. I throw oil everywhere. You know what? Hell, it might have just been making noise because the damn fluid looks like freaking shit. <laughs> Literally, I say that, and I just found the problem. <laughs> you might have seen it on uh, on the video before me. <laughs> this is awesome. You see that right there? <laughs> that is a that is not supposed to be like that. Yeah. So that would explain all of that. You can't really see it. All that junk down in there. Oh man. Yep. Well, Kyle, you need a new counter shaft and ring gear 
Nice. Time to change to that 4-7 final drive, I guess. Now that, uh, that's what it's going to take. Clear as day, we found the problem. It needs bearings, ring gear, and counter shaft. So that's actually kind of extensive. Pull the ring gear off the differential. And while we're in here, might as well put a damn LSD in it. Um, because Kyle's rich. So, we can do that. And then get a counter shaft for it, and then... I mean, while you're in here, I just put synchros in it. Just buy all new gears. Just everything. Buy the new shafts, forks, gears, you know, everything. Buy the new cases. Just buy a new transmission, you know. So, yeah. Cool. We found the problem. And uh, it's it's literally that simple. I mean, even with the B-Series. The B-Series is almost identical. You've got that one snap ring for the counter shaft. And it's it's just bolts and Honda Bond other than that. I mean, really. Anyone can do this. I mean, it's not rocket science. Every, I remember the first time that I took one apart. And it was extremely intimidating. But once you do it and then you put it back in the car you go through the gears and it's butter and it lasts and it's it's so satisfying it's the exact same feeling rebuilding a motor the one advantage though to building a transmission is when you say hey I rebuilt my transmission people look at you like you're some sort of sorcerer get in there figure out the problem replace the shit that you need it's really not that difficult um, now that we found the problem uh, I'm going to end this one. This one will, I guess, be part one. And then whatever he orders, whether he wants to continue or not, we'll come back and we'll do a part two, and then we'll put the new parts in, reinstall it, clean it up, fresh Honda Bond, fresh bearings, real nice, and then paint it, probably. So as you're probably going to hear me say a lot, and I might as well just go ahead and say it, thank you for watching this video. Um... If you'd like to see more stuff like this, comment, subscribe, you know, share it if you want to. If you don't, totally get it, man. I'm just out here having fun, trying to uh, put cars together, man. That's my dream. If that's your dream and that's what you want to do too, and you don't quite know how to do it yet, then I'll help you any way I can. But until next time.